Hey loves, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita and on my channel I like to post videos about budgeting, my journey to becoming debt free, and also cash stuff in videos. If that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you find yourself enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But in today's video, I am helping a fellow subscriber out. I got a message about how do you go about planning out your budget. So I'm just going to do a mock budget. I'm not going to do mine since I've already did mine for the month of February. So I'm just going to help someone out. So the first thing you want to do is know how much money you're bringing in. So... Number one, know how much money you, uh, know your income, your monthly, know your monthly income. That's an easier way to put it. So know your monthly income. Even if it's a, even if it's an estimate, I always, let me zoom in. So once again, even if it's like lower than what you expect, I mean, or higher, whichever one, I always budget out lower, even though my check may be higher. So know your monthly income. Number two. You want to know, you get all your bills and add them up together or like write out your bills. So number two is write out your bills. Number three, well, if you plan on paying off your debt, which like I do, I'm like gazelle intense is paying off my debt right now. You want to actually write out your debts that you owe from smallest to biggest. So I, the way I'm paying off my debt is from smallest to biggest simply because I like to see progress. If I was paying, doing like the avalanche method by paying with the biggest or with the highest interest rate, I would be discouraged. So I just know myself. So whichever way works for you, you pay off that way. So write out your uh, debts. Uh, so you can do smallest. To largest that means the totals or you can do biggest to smallest and that would be the interest rates so however you want to pay off your debts I say go about doing it that way and then whatever works for you so number four, the next thing you want to do is if you're planning on paying off your debt, you want to save, save for an emergency fund. So at least save a thousand dollars before you even get started. I already have my thousand dollars, but I still continue to add to my emergency fund. If 2020 didn't show us anything, it showed us that you never know what will happen with your income. So many people were out of work and a lot of people didn't have money saved up and if you did just have only a thousand dollars that would absolutely not work that wouldn't have worked for a lot of people because their monthly bills equate to more than just a thousand dollars so like i said is save at least a thousand dollars for your emergency fund and then just continue to add to it like i've been doing as you pay your monthly bills of course and as you pay off your debt so save at least $1,000 uh, emergency fund and that's about it so I am going to do like a little mock budget down here so say my monthly income I will put my income I get paid twice of a month maybe income number one is $1,500 and then income number two it's 1500 as well now it's completely up to you guys if you want to do if you're in a relationship you can include your significant other your spouse whatever uh if you guys want to budget together my husband and i do not budget it together we just i let him do what he want i don't want to force anybody to do anything so we our bills are separate of what we pay and we just split everything 50 50 basically I got certain bills that I pay. He got certain bills that he paid and we both put in our money for the rent. So if you are, or if your spouse wants to like budget with you, your incomes will be different. So if you had income one, two and three, something like that, you will put out everything that you guys have coming in. 
So your income, of course, would include your paycheck. It could include child support. Maybe if you do like any side hustles, that is everything that you want to include. All the money that you have coming in is what you want to include in your monthly income. So my income, I'm gonna put 1500 for one and two. So say now my bills, I'll put, I'll put that my, um, uh, let's do, let's do bills. I'm gonna do it a different way. Bills. So of course I'll have my rent. Maybe you have a mortgage or something like that. Say that your rent is $350. And then you have electric. That can be $50. Oh, I wish I had this rent and this electric bill. <laughs> now me coming up with scenarios that I wish I had. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. But your rent, electric bill, and let me see what else that oh you like a phone bill. So maybe your phone bill is a hundred dollars. And let me see what else could be your car note. I don't have a car note, but maybe it would. You have one. So maybe that is a hundred dollars as well. And also car insurance. Now, when I do my budget, I it is always after taxes have been taken out, my money for insurance has been taken out money for my hsa has been taken out i just put what i bring home i don't put like i don't put that i paid my insurance i don't put that i put into my hsa if i did all that i would be so it's, it's just too much for me so i only put bills that i actually know that i am paying in my budget if that makes sense so maybe your car insurance is 75 dollars and maybe you have internet that you pay as well internet is let's say fifty dollars and i'm gonna just that's that's all but you list out all your bills so say that those are all your bills that you have so far or that you just have in total next thing you want to do is write off your debt so let's say you have your car now you always want to you want well not always you want i'm gonna do it from smallest to largest you do it however you want to do it so so maybe your car note you only owe four hundred dollars on it awesome next thing let's think of another debt uh, maybe you have a medical bill that's a thousand and that could just be your only debts that you have that, that I wish that was me <laughs> but that would be awesome so, so we already got our emergency fund so we already have our emergency fund a thousand dollars so next thing we want to do is we are going to add up our metal our, our bills first so let's add the bills first so 350 plus 50 plus 100 plus 100 plus 75 plus 50 our total bills equals 725 dollars and then our debt equals 1400 if we add those together that gives us a total of 21 ooh, ooh. These together equals $2,125. Now, if you do what I do and you have your own envelopes for like food, eating out and stuff like that, that is where that is going to come. So 3,000 minus 2125. That gives us $875 left over to put towards whatever we what else we need to uh put it towards so we got our bills paid we have our debt paid so now we have 875 dollars left over for the month now that we're budgeting we know where our money's going like oh we have we've been had enough money we can pay that off so now we have 875 dollars left for the month so we can put it towards food gas and entertainment so maybe you're maybe if you're single, you only spend two hundred dollars a month on food. Gas, you spend two hundred dollars too, because gas is so expensive right about now. And then entertainment, maybe you just like you're a person that likes to go out all the time, and you spend two hundred dollars on that too. So now we're gonna go two four six. So eight seventy five minus oops, I don't think I hit minus minus. 600 gives us 275 dollars left over if i had this 275 dollars left over i'm gonna put it towards my emergency fund 
just to keep it growing. Hopefully this budget has made sense. I will go over it again. So number one, you want to know your monthly income, write out your bills, write out your debts, either smallest to largest for the totals or biggest to smallest for the interest rates. And of course you want to save at least $1,000 in an emergency fund, but you could continue to add to it as you pay off all your debt, your bills and everything else. So we said income one was $1,500, income two was $1,500 as well, giving us a total of $3,000 per month. Remember, this is after you your taxes have been paid, your insurance, your health insurance, if you put in your HSA, your Roth IRA, your 401k, all of that. That's what you're bringing home. So we're going to do our bills. Our bills total $725. And then debt, we realized, oh, we need to be on a budget. And we also realized that, oh, we can actually just pay this off in one month. So we paid this, this, these were the totals. So we just paid them both off, giving us a total for bills and debt, $2,125. From that $2,125, we have $875 left. So we're going to spend $200 on food, $200 on gas, and $200 on entertainment. That gives us $275 left over that we can put towards our emergency fund. So I really hope this has helped and it makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will try to help you out. I am not an expert or anything. I'm just telling you guys how I go about paying, paying, paying off my debt and paying all my bills and budgeting for myself and what works for me. If this makes sense to you, give it a thumbs up but i'll talk to you all in my next video bye on today's video we are going to be creating my december budget hopefully i um stick to it <laughs> hopefully everything goes as planned i will go ahead and leave a link up above to my november budget but yeah let's go ahead and get started i'm going to move this little cute sign out of the way and let's go ahead and start doing my December budget. So I will be receiving two paychecks in December. So I'm going to write down paycheck one and then paycheck two. The dates that I will be receiving these, I'm just going to put, I'm not going to put 12 or anything. I'm going to just put the, the 10th. And I'm also going to receive one on Christmas Eve. I am going to say that maybe my checks are going to be $11.75. So that's what I am going to budget. I'm also not going to use the money sign. Just because sometimes I run out of room on other ones. So let's just do, that looks sloppy. Even though this is just for me, it's okay. I'm showing you guys. So I want it to look nice and neat for you guys. So $11.75. Also, I'm going to put YouTube just to see if I get anything. For YouTube, they usually pay out on the 21st, I think. Let me check my last, last time I got a YouTube. Yep, the 21st. So 21st. And I am going to budget zero. I always budget zero for YouTube because I never know. eBay as well. I never know with eBay if someone will buy my anything that i have listed so i don't know what date that will come on either because i cash out whenever i want to so i would say zero poshmark i'm going to say zero as well other one which is i know what it is i'm gonna just put cs right there yeah we're gonna budget a hundred dollars instacart I am going to budget. I, I'm going to say that I at least want to make 150 for the month of December. And me reselling, uh, I'm going to budget zero. It, because I never know what they're going to give me for my the things that I resell at Once Upon a Child, Uptown Cheapskate, and I forget the name of the other one. I think I have it listed. Give me a second. So I never know what they're going to give me at Once Upon a Child, Once Upon a Child, Uptown Cheapskate, or Mentor, Clothes Mentor. Those are the, typically the three ones that I sell to. 
Play-Doh's closet, I don't sell to them. They're too picky. Like, I I don't sell to them anymore. So, they give you, they take like 20 of your items. But like, I can offer you $2.50. No, ma'am. I'm good. But let's go ahead and add all of this up. What I am budgeting for. So, we have eleven seventy five times 2 plus 250. That gives me a total income of $2,600. That is what I am going to budget with this month. Will it be more? Who knows? Hopefully it's not less because I'm going to budget $2,600. So the next page that I am going to do is go right, turn right on over. And I am going to put the actual things that I pay for every month. So rent my half or my portion of the rent the electric bill josiah's phone id protect and also epidemic sound last time i didn't write these down i'm writing everything down because these ones go onto my credit card but what my plan is as soon as it goes on my credit card i'm paying it right off so epidemic sound also my car wash so epidemic sound i have it for two different channels i have i'm a budget thirty dollars car wash is thirty dollars also id protect is four dollars josiah's phone is 30. electric bill since we're in december getting a little colder i am going to budget 250 dollars now my daughter might go ahead she says she'll start paying that off we'll see what she says once it comes if she doesn't pay it it's fine i'll pay it if she pays it that will be awesome and then rent is going to be or my portion of the rent is going to be 562 dollars this is due rent is due by the fifth electric bill is due by the 28th and josiah's phone is due on the 9th id protect on the first epidemic sound i don't know oh you know what i just realized I put, i'm putting 11. <laughs> that's because i'm looking at my last month sorry you guys i hope i didn't do that okay so that's why i said i'm gonna just put the date so this is the fifth electric bill is due on the 28th josiah's phone is due on the 9th epic or id protect is doing the first i i for some odd reason there's two different due dates for my epidemic sound so i'm gonna just put the 15th car wash is due on the first i do believe that that is all but let me check just to make sure all right so i went ahead and filled these in i also have my car insurance that's going to be due that's 94 dollars. that's doing the 21st my daughter is on my insurance as well. I don't include the portion that she owes, nor do I include it as income. That's just, it's, it's too much for me. My brain, <laughs> like, listen, this is too much. So I, I do it with my portion, just like I don't add all of the rent and I don't add what my husband pays. I it, My brain just doesn't function like that, you guys. I'm sorry. The internet is due on the 9th. That's $90. And then I also have another credit monitoring. That's $12. That should be everything. These ones, like I said, from Epidemic Sound to credit monitoring, we're going on my credit card, but we're stopping all of that, you guys. If you have been following me on my debt-free journey, I'm going to go ahead and link that playlist up above. But you guys, we are stopping that. So instead of me letting this go, it's going to still go into my credit card, whatever, that's fine. I'm going to just pay it off immediately. As soon as it, go, it hits, I'm paying it off. That is all that I have listed. I do believe I said that before. Let me check my bank account just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. All right. So that is everything that I am going to be paying for the month of December as such as my bills and everything. So after my bills, let's go on to my debt that I have listed. Let me move this page and move on to the next one, which would be right here, debt. 
Let me put this as page three so I'll remember <laughs> because I do get them mixed up sometimes. So for my debt, I have started a debt payoff plan or debt tracker. I will go ahead and leave a link to that video up above as well. But I am just going to list all of my debts out for you guys again right on here. I go into more detail with my debt in my debt or debt free Friday. So for my first debt, it's going to be care now. And I'm just going to go ahead and list them all out and then I'll do the balance. So I'll fast forward this part. All right, so for my starting balance for Care Now, it's $166. Las Vegas Peds is $446. Sound Physicians is going to be $570. Charlotte Radiology is $912. Capital One is $2,600. Access one is six thousand one hundred and forty eight. Visa eight thousand nine hundred and thirteen dollars. Student loans thirty six thirty six thousand one hundred and twenty seven. And then UMC is fifty eight thousand seven hundred and thirty seven dollars. And I do believe I didn't budget an amount for anything. I forgot to actually put in, you know what? No, I didn't. Pay me no attention. So the amount I'm going to balance budget for this is $166. I want to pay that off. For Las Vegas Peds, I'm only going to budget $147 which is the minimum payment that's due. For Sound, Physici Sound Physicians, I'm a budget $48. Charlotte Radiology, $76. Capital One, $77. Access One, $347. Visa, $276. Student Loans, zero. And UMC $100. So let me go back to my bills and add up those bills. I did forget to do that. I could I'm, I knew I forgot to do something, but I'm like, I, I don't remember. So remember the balance that we took from over here is $2,600. So I'm going to write that at the top. $2,600. Now, I always know that I am going to be over simply because I budget a lower amount than what I actually make because I never know what type of money I'm gonna be bringing in especially when it comes to paycheck is it's pretty I can pretty much guess that but when it comes to YouTube eBay Poshmark other Instacart and me reselling things it's it's hard to guess at those things because you never know but let's go ahead and add up all of my bills first so I have 562 plus 250 plus 30, plus four, plus 60, plus 94, plus 90, plus 12. That gives us a total. My bill total for $1,102. Now I'm going to take this $1,102 and subtract it from 2,600. That gives us a balance of $14.98 to work with. Next, I am going to take that balance, that $14.98, and put it right up there so I know what I'm working with. I'm going to add all of these up and then subtract that total from that amount. So let's add those up. So. We have a total of $1,237. That gives me $261 left over. That is not a lot left over, but it is what it is. So now I am going to go over my bank sinking funds and see, of course, I'm still going to budget a, a higher amount. 
simply because I know that I'm gonna make more money than what I actually put here. It's just easier for me to do it this way. So let me write out my bank sinking fund. So I have gifts. I also have kids. I have, let me see how many gifts. Typically it's gonna get more than what is even left right here because it's Christmas, which is okay. I plan on making money. Gifts, so let me count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus I have my regular envelopes. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. If I divide 261 divided by 17 and distribute it equally, everything will get $15, which is okay with me for Gifts, I'm going to budget $150. Kids, I'm going to budget $20. So, we had $261 left over. I don't want to go over. So, travel, vacay, I'm going to budget $25. Emergency. Let me make sure I'm not going over because I feel like I'm $261 minus $150 minus 45 already 66 dollars left so let's say i'll give i'm gonna give auto hmm this is hard you guys let me back up just a little all right so this is a little hard simply because i know let's change gifts i don't i i i probably am gonna Put 150 i'll just have to do a little more with instacart and make a little more money so let's say i'm gonna just give everything 15 dollars for this month i'm gonna just that makes life a whole lot easier so i'm gonna give gifts 15. i'm gonna give kids kids have to get 20 because i have to split it up between the twins 10 and 10. travel will get 15. Emergency will get 15, house will get 15, fun will get 15, auto will get 15. Now let's add all these up and I'm also gonna do my regular envelopes. So let's add these up, 15 plus 20. You know what, let's do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, 15 times six plus 20 gives us $110. Two sixty one minus one ten gives us one fifty one left over. Now I am going to go on, go on over to my regular envelope sinking funds. I'm sorry, my regular sinking funds. I mean, I'm sorry, my regular envelopes. So I did forget to count my sinking fund envelopes in that. <sighs> you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Let me go back to this. So I actually have, I'm looking at my last one. Let me just count them all together. My sinking funds in my envelopes. Let me count and see how many I actually have all together. All right, so for my regular eating uh, envelopes, I'm just gonna list them out and out. Then I'll put the amount that I'm actually gonna put in them. If I'm gonna put anything at all. I guess not. Okay, so eating out, I am going to budget five dollars. Spending money, I am going to budget twenty. You know what? I forgot to bring over the other one, so we had one hundred and fifty-one left over. So let's make sure we are not going over. So one fifty-one minus five minus twenty, we have one twenty-six left. Gas. Let's budget 10. Joe's hair, I'm a budget zero. Medical, I am gonna do zero as well. Groceries, I am going to budget 86. Beauty, I would do, I'm gonna do five. Let's do five, nope, you know what I have to for my eyebrows. I gotta get my eyebrows done, y'all, I have to. <laughs> 
So we are going to budget 10. Clothing, we're going to budget zero. Joe's spending, we're going to give him, let's give him 20. My hair, I will budget zero. So let's add all of these up together to make sure we are good. We're still with $56 left over. So I have 5 plus 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 10 plus 20. That gives us a total of $95. 151 minus 95 gives us 56 is left over for our sinking fund. I'm sorry, I don't even know if you guys saw what I was doing. That's what I just did. 95, 56, I wasn't looking up, I'm sorry. Don't know if I recorded it or not, but I'll see once I start to edit it, huh? Now on over to my sinking fund envelopes. Oh, we start off start off with um, $56. Let me just make sure I have the correct sinking fund envelopes. So taxes, oh, that's a hard one. Taxes, and let me go ahead and just list them out. <laughs> So we have a $56 balance at the beginning. So I am just going to put zeros to the ones that I'm not going to do or put anything to. So I'm not going to put anything to anything back to for back to school. I won't do anything for dental. I won't do anything for student loans. I won't do anything for vitamins. I won't do anything for Sam's Club renewal. And I just won't do anything for my P.O. box. For laptop, I have to do 50. Travel, I'll do zero. And then taxes, I will do $6. So car registration gets zero as well. So that gives us a zero base uh, budget. So $56 with zero left over. Now, remember that I always say that I may, I will more than likely not, it will more than likely not be this amount because I never know how much I will actually get. Let me bring it back over to you guys for a second. I never know how much I will get for YouTube, eBay, Poshmark. Other could be more as in last month, it was more, no, November. Instacart can actually be more and reselling can actually be more. So if you guys saw my last budget, my last budget, I was over by like $6,000. Let me do it real quick and I'll tell you. I said 6,000. Girl, I wish 6,000 by about $600. 581 dollars over because I budgeted a low amount because I'm never 100% sure of how much I will actually make. I know it's not going to be this amount. So which allows me when I make money from Instacart from reselling or anything like that, that allows me to put more into my envelopes and into my sinking funds that are in my bank. But let's just go over this again real quick. Make sure everything is correct. I didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> like November, November's budget had me stressing y'all. So I have paycheck number one, 1175 that I'm going to budget for paycheck number two, 1175 as well. YouTube. I know I'm gonna get something. How much it's going to be. I don't know. eBay. Never know. Poshmark. Never know. Other. Never know. Instacart. I put 150. That is my goal to actually make at least $150. Reselling. I always put zero because yeah, they take what they want to take. So I'm going to take that $2,600, add all of these up, all of my bills up. That gives me a total of $1,102 with a leftover balance of $1,498. Now I'm going to take that $1,498, put it at the top of this, and pay off my debt with that. 
My debt totals for the month is $1,237, what gives me $261 left over. I am next going to take that $261 to my bank sinking funds. Gifts is going to get 15, kids will get 20, travel will get 15, and so forth, which gives us a total of $110 gives us $151 left over. Next, we're gonna to go to my regular envelopes and take that 151, add all of these budget, I'm sorry, all of these envelopes together. That gives us, gives us $95 with a leftover balance of $56. We're gonna take that $56 and put it to my sinking fund envelopes. Laptop got the most because I'm trying to get my laptop fixed. So taxes will get $6. Laptop is going to get 50. Gives us a total of $56 with a leftover balance of zero, giving us a zero base, uh, zero balance uh, budget. I'm sorry, zero base budget, you guys, I'm tongue tied. But that is all, that is my, I have erasers everywhere. <laughs> like always but that is all for this video if you guys enjoyed this watching me do my budget if it gave you some idea on how to do your own budget let me know in the comments down below if you really enjoyed it give it a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button but i'll talk to you all in my next video today's video is going to be a budget video budget video update for december but on this channel, I do like to post cash stuffing videos, budget videos, and debt payoff <laughs> videos. I don't know why I just got stuck. Sorry. But I do like to post debt payoff videos as well. I was posting vlogs. Not 100% sure if I'm going to continue to post them. Just, I, just, just a lot has been going on and I haven't been really doing anything enough to vlog. So yeah, that's, that's that. Let's go ahead and jump into December's budget. So far, I'd go over the same thing every uh, budget video. So if you guys already heard this, I'm sorry, but there are a couple of updates as it relates to my budget for December. So paycheck number one, received it on the 10th. Thought I was gonna receive 1175, actually received 1280. Paycheck number two, haven't received, haven't received anything from YouTube, eBay, Poshmark. Other, I thought I was only gonna, I thought I was gonna receive 100. So far, I've only received $21. So I don't know why I'm writing so small. <laughs> Let me write it a little bigger for you guys. So far, I have only received $21. Instacart, I haven't really been doing it that much, but I did one, I did $48 and another, I only did one and it was $13. Reselling, I haven't been to any of the reselling spots yet. I may still go, don't know, but I haven't been. Um, so I have zero for that, still haven't made anything. So this right here is a, something else, and I wrote small just in case other things come in that I did, wasn't expecting. This atrium overpayment is for a hospital bill or a doctor bill, I guess, because they have doctor offices and they have hospitals here. I guess it's for something that I overpay. Can y'all believe that I'm over here budgeting and I'm overpaying? But I think it's because I pay this one thing where they consolidate all of our bills. I think they somehow messed up. So they just sent the uh, payment back to me. But on the 5th, I received $41. And then on the 7th, I've received $7. Not gonna add this up because I still have other incomes that are gonna be coming through. Now for our bills, I did pay my portion of the rent. On the 5th was $562. Haven't paid the electric bill yet. I paid Josiah's phone, which was $30 on the 9th. ID Protect paid them on the 1st. Epidemic Sound, the 15th, $30. I've already paid that $30 already. Car Wash, the 30th, I'm sorry, the 1st paid $30 already. Car insurance due on the 21st. It hasn't come out of my account yet, $94. Internet was due on the 9th, paid $90. And credit monitoring was due on the 1st, paid $12. Uh, of course, still not gonna add these up because still need to pay some things. Next to the debt. 
So far, I am super excited. I already paid off one of these, so Care Now will not be on next month's video. But if you're interested in all of my debt tracking uh, videos, it's gonna be in the iCard over here. I think it's gonna be over here on the left side or on my left side at least. So it might be on your right. <laughs> but I've already paid Care Now off. We still have Las Vegas Peace, but I did pay $147 already. Haven't paid anything for sound positions. I do believe that comes out automatically. Not 100% sure if I have to make a payment or if it just comes out automatically. I'll have to check my tracker for that. I paid $76 to Charlotte Radiology. I have paid $77 to Capital One. Access One, I have paid $250. Visa is not due yet, so I haven't paid anything. Not paying anything on student loans just yet. And UMC, I did pay $100. Next, uh, don't kill me on this one, you guys. Don't kill me on this one. So, my bank sinking funds. I just went, I, mm, it's horrible. So gifts, I said I was doing 15. I actually put 150 because of Christmas. So I am basically done buying Christmas gifts and whatnot, but I wanted to just, just in case I forgot someone. So I put 150 this paycheck and I'm also going to do another 150 next paycheck. So all together, it's going to be 300 versus 15. Like I said, I'm about to be doing Instacart to hopefully make up for that difference. Kids, they already got their 20 into their accounts travel and vacay so far i just said screw everything after kids and the gifts i was the only thing that i stuck with was um the kids <laughs> but everything else again like, eh, whatever i do what i want to do obviously hopefully it all works out if it doesn't work out i know that i won't be doing that again but travel vacay she said i was doing 15 so far i've done 25. emergency said i was doing 15. i've done 75. House said I was doing 15, I've done 75. Fun, I said I was doing 15, but I've done 25. Auto, I said I was doing 15, but I've done 25. Once again, I do plan on doing Instacart to make up the difference. So that all of this, all of everything, all of my income coming in is more way, it has to be way more than this. I will actually go ahead and calculate how much it actually should be. So I know how much I've already done it, but I'll do it on camera so you guys can actually see how much I need to actually bring in in order for me to make up the difference for all of these. Now, for my regular envelopes, I've stuck with this. So I had $151. I did go ahead and stuff eating out. I'll leave a video up above right here so that you guys can see it if I post it before I actually post this video. Eating out, I did actually put $5. Spending money, I did put 20. Gas, I put 10. So far for Joe's hair, I've put zero. I'm not gonna put it in, you know what, let's go. I'll just put zero. And if I add anything, I'll just do a plus. Medical, I put zero. Groceries, I put 30. Beauty, I put 10. Clothing, I put zero. Joe's spending, I put 20. And my hair, I put a zero. Not gonna add them up just yet, just in case I'd go ahead and add more. So taxes, I did do six. Travel, zero. Zero for back to school, zero for dental. Laptop actually got 50. Peel box got zero. Student loans got zero. Vitamins got zero. Car registration got zero. And Sam's Club renewal got zero. So I did stick with my amounts for the envelopes. It was just my sinking funds that I did not stick with. Simply because they are sinking funds and I need that. I need it there, you guys. I know I'm crazy, but you know, whatever. This is just, I am going to have to go ahead and print myself. I need to find some more highlighters because I ended up having to use those, what are they called? I can't even remember the name of them, but those felt pens or whatever they're called. And I don't like that. And I had to use um, dry erase markers, which looks crazy. But I did fill this out. I have not added up everything. I still, of course, have the rest of the month to go through it. But I am going to look into finding me some highlighter, highlighters with at least like 15 different colors <laughs> because that is what I need. And I'm also gonna go ahead and print another one of these. But let's go ahead and add up 
we're gonna leave that let's go ahead and add up these sinking funds so I know that I have enough money or so I'll know how much money that I actually need to save up so I said I'm gonna put 300 into gifts kids they already got this travel vacay I'm probably gonna do 50 plus 50 and then emergency fund I think I, I, I won't put anything else in emergency I won't put nothing else in the house fun I'll put uh, 50 total and then auto I'll also do 50 so 450 minus 110 I'll show you guys where I'm getting 110 this is what I budgeted for the total was 110 so I need to make an extra $340 which I know I'm gonna do because you know what I'm gonna manifest that I'm gonna speak it into existence I'm gonna make that extra $340 we're only going to be positive on this channel that sums it up and also for these ones the fun the auto and the travel pay k it comes directly out of my paycheck and goes into an account i'm not switching all that up you guys so it's it's just gonna to have to be 25 and it's always 25 dollars per paycheck i'm not switching it up it's just gonna to have to come out that way i don't know why i was thinking about budgeting only 15 knowing that i wasn't going to switch it well i didn't know at the time i thought about it and i was like it take, it's too much of a hassle and it also takes a while and i don't want to keep switching it back and forth and then hr is like dude what are you doing stop <laughs> but yeah that is about it for this video you guys let me know in the comments down below how your budget is going for december if you have any questions about my budget or, or why I am a little crazy, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. In today's video, we are going over December's budget and closing it out. So to start off, you know what, let me zoom you guys in. All right, so to start off, we are gonna do my actual income. So one paycheck was 1280 and the other paycheck was 1453. Now these paychecks are after I've put into my HSA, after I paid for my insurance, after I've put paid taxes, and there's something else that I take out of my account. I can't remember, but it's after all of that stuff, this is what I'm left with. So the second paycheck, $14.53, YouTube, I made $110, eBay, I didn't sell anything, Poshmark, I didn't sell anything, other, I thought I was going to get $100, I only got $21, Instacart from the 1st to the 31st, I made $48 one time, $13 another, and then $84 another, reselling, I didn't do it, so I'm going to just put zero, and then this was a overpayment for a medical bill. I received one check for $41 and then another check for $7. So let's go ahead and add all of that up. Gives us a total of $3,057. When I thought that I was going to get $2,600, which is pretty good. Now let's see how we did over here. For bills, I did pay my portion of the rent, $562. Electric bill was $184 instead of the $250 that I budgeted for. Sia's phone, $30. ID Protect, $4. Epidemic sale, $30. Car wash, $30. Car insurance, $94. Internet was $90. And then credit monitoring was uh, $12. So let's add these up. Gives us a total of $1,036. Oh, $1, Sorry, you guys. You know, I forgot to do my starting balance. $3057 is what I'm going to write up here. $3057. Let me zoom out just a little. All right. So I'm going to take that $3057 and subtract $1036 from it. So $3057 minus $1036. Gives us a leftover balance of 2021. What? That is so crazy. I am ending the last budget for the year 2021. And you know, I'm just crazy, you guys. When I see numbers like that, I just think crazy. So ignore me. <laughs> so next, we're going to take that 2021 and put it up here and go over the debt that I actually paid. So I am super excited. Care Now has been paid off. I do have Debt Free Fridays where I list out all my debt and what I've paid on it, what I've paid off. If you're interested in that video, I'll go ahead and link it up above. 
And then Las Vegas Peds, I paid $147. Sound Physicians, I paid $48. Charlotte Radiology, I paid $76. Capital One, I paid $77. Access One, I paid $347. Visa, $276. I didn't pay anything on my student loans and I paid $100 through my HSA uh, for UMC. So I'm not going to include that in this total simply because I didn't use like my account or in my bank account. I used my HSA. It makes sense to me. So let's go ahead and add all of these up to see what the total is. $1,137. With my HSA, it is 1,237. But like I said, I'm not gonna include that simply because I didn't, it didn't come out of my account. It came out of my HSA, but not like my debt or my bill paying account. It didn't come out of that. So we're gonna take this 1137 and subtract it from 2021. And that gives us $884 left over. We're going to take that $884 and put it up here. Now, this is where it gets a little, little tricky. So, gifts, I actually put $300 in. Kids, I did only $20. Travel, I did uh, $50. Emergency fund, I did only $75. House, I did $75. Fun, I did $25. And auto, I did $25 as well. So, let's add all of those up. So 300 plus 20 plus 50 plus 150 plus 100 gives us a total of 620. Ooh, look at that. I'm way over. That's so crazy. I'm way over. But I made extra money, so I put extra money into my uh, sinking funds. And a couple of people asked me to explain what sinking funds are. I think I'm going to do that in a different video, not in my budget video. So look forward to that. So we're going to take the 620 and subtract it from the 884. So 884 minus 620 gives us $264 left over. Now we're going to take that 264 and put it right up here. And this is all I put into my envelopes. I didn't put anything extra. So it's still going to be $95. So $264 minus $95 gives us a leftover balance of $169. Next, we're going to take that $169 for my sinking fund envelopes and subtract. I didn't put anything extra in these either. So we're just going to subtract the $56 from the $169 which gives us a ending balance for the month of $113. I'm going to take that $113 for next month and put it towards my envelopes, my regular envelopes and my sinking fund envelopes. But that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Leave me a hey down in the comments below and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. But in today's video, I am going to be doing my January uh, budget. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of income next month, but we shall see what it brings to me. So as always, I'm gonna write down what I typically get and how much I think I'm gonna receive. So I'm gonna write down a name and then I'm gonna write down what I think I'll get. So give me a second. All right, so now that I have the names down of the income I'm gonna receive, I'm gonna put how much I think I will receive. So paycheck number one, I'm gonna say it might be $1,300 and the same for paycheck number two. Now this $1,300 is after I put into my HSA, after I pay for my medical insurance, dental, and all of that other stuff. This is after taxes and everything else. YouTube, I'm gonna say I'm gonna make zero eBay, zero. Poshmark, zero. Uh, other, CS Other, zero. Instacart, I'm gonna try my best to make $200. I'm gonna make myself make $200 next month. And then reselling, I am gonna say zero. So what I am going to do is add all of that up. So 1,300 times two plus 200 gives us 2,800 for the month of January. Oh, I don't know why I was about to put an eight. So 2,800 is what I am going to say that I'm gonna get for next month. 
Now I am going to take that $2,800 and put it right up here. And then I am going to list off the names of all of my bills that I have to pay next month. So let me just list those out. All right, so now that I have the name of the bill that I'm, I need to pay and the date that it's due, I'm gonna put out how much that each one I do believe is gonna be. So I know rent, my portion of the rent is gonna be 562. Electric, being that it's winter time, I'm going to budget 250. Next month is actually my daughter's month to pay, but she's in school now and she has been working a lot, so we'll see if she wants to pay it or not, but I'm just gonna budget it into mine. So Josiah's phone is 30. ID Protect is $4. Epidemic Sound is $30. Uh, the Car Wash, 30. Car Insurance is 94. Internet is 90. And then my credit monitoring is $12. That is what I am going to budget. And let's add all of those up. It gives us $1,102. I'm gonna write that down here. So I'm gonna take this, let me zoom out just a little. All right, so I am going to take this 1102 and subtract it from the 2800. So 2800 minus 1102 gives us a leftover of 1698. I am now going to take that $16.98 and put it up here and list off my bank sinking funds. Oh, wait, you know what? No, I got this out of order. Give me a second. I do that all the time. It's the way it prints it out and I just take it out of the printer. Actually, I am going to do my debt first before I do my bank sinking funds. And it looks like my printer printed it crooked too. Okay, <laughs> I guess my printer's like, listen, stop. So we're gonna take that 1698 and I'm gonna list all of my debts off. All right, so now that I have those listed, now I'm gonna put the balance for each one. All right, so the balance for Las Vegas Peds is $299. The balance for Sound Physicians is $522. For Charlotte Radiology is $836. For Capital One, it's $2,700. Access one, $5,801. And Visa, I, I don't have it just yet, but let's say it is, I'ma put, yeah. Uh, I'ma just put what it was last month, <laughs> $8,913. Student loans is always the same, $36,127. And then UMC is $58,637. All right, so what I am going to budget for Las Vegas Peds, I want to pay that whole thing off. So I'm going to budget $299. Sound Physicians, I am only going to pay the minimum, which is $48. Charlotte Radiology, I'm only going to pay the minimum, which is $76. Capital One went up $1, I do believe, so it's like $78 that's due now. Access One is only $262 now, so that's all I'm going to pay. Visa, I don't know how much is due. I haven't received an updated statement, so I'm going to leave that blank for now. Oh, you know what? Let's say I'll budget, I'll budget what I budgeted last month. We'll just do $276 again. Student Loans, I'm going to budget $0. And then UMC, I'm going to budget 100. So let's add all of those up. Gives us a total of $1,139. Oh, don't mean to be doing that. 
and we're going to subtract that from the 1698 1698 minus 1139 equals so we have a total of 559 dollars left over now we're going to go to my bank sinking funds and i am just going to go ahead and list those off now <laughs> this is where i know i'm going to be over simply because you know what i am only going to budget budget because christmas is over so i don't really need to be budgeting a lot for gifts anymore even though the twins birthday is january 18th so i am going to budget 200 dollars for gifts kids is going to get 20. let me be like subtracting this while i'm doing it so minus 200 minus 20 minus so travel vacate i'm gonna do 50 50 minus emergency is going to get 75 and then house is going to get 75 also and then fun will get 50 and then auto will get 50. these ones fun auto and travel vacay automatically come out of my check and go to account i'm not switching my account just so i can put less in there it's just a headache so it looks like i will only have a 39 dollars left over so i am going to switch gifts i'm going to switch that to 150. so plus 50 so we can have a little left over so that gives us 89 dollars left over oops just see that's why i always mess up so let's do this let's add these up first 150 plus 20 did i just subtract 150 plus 20 plus 50 plus 150 plus 100 gives us 330 dollars 559 minus 330 what did i mess up let me recalculate because i shouldn't have that much left over should i I'm losing my mind you guys 150 plus 20 plus 50 plus 75 plus 75 plus 50 plus 50 that looks more like it 470 559 minus 470 89 dollars that makes more sense now 89 dollars i'm gonna take that 89 dollars over to my envelope and let me go ahead and list those out first So I'm pretty angry with myself because I just realized that I did have some money left over last, last month or this month, December, whatever you want to call it. I had a hundred and thirty. This is December's uh, tracker. I had $113, which I should have put in with my income. So let me go all the way back to the beginning and I'm going to put other. 113 oh that makes me so angry because now i have to do it all over so instead of making you guys suffer through that i'm gonna switch everything over and then i'll be back all right so i have updated all of my uh trackers so left over so far for the bank sinking funds 672 my bank sinking funds are going to total 470 dollars giving us a leftover of 202 dollars Next, we are going to go over to my regular envelopes and we are starting off with 600 or no, I wish we we're starting off with $202. So I am going to budget. Let's do groceries first. I want to do at least 50 for groceries. So mine is 50 equals 152. And you know what? Let me write on my, um, sinking fund envelopes too because there are some that i absolutely have to uh contribute to before i do all of that so taxes okay so i do have to put 50 for my laptop to get fixed i want to do that so minus 50 and then and that's about it that I actually have to contribute to. 
So eating out can get five. Spending money can get 10. Gas can get five. Joe's hair can get five. Medical can get five. Beauty can get five. Clothing can get five. I don't know if I subtracted it or not. Joe's spending can get 10 and my hair can get five. So let's add all of those together. That gives us a total of $105. 202 minus 105 gives us $97 left over. Take this 97. We already have minus 50 because of my laptop. Let's give taxes. Let's give taxes 10. Travel can get five. Back to school can get five. Dental can get five. P.O. Box can get five. Student loans can get five. Vitamins can get five. So I have $7 left. So car registration can get five and then Sam's Club will get $2. So that should gives us zero that should give us zero dollars left over for our January's budget. So let's do 10 plus five plus five plus five plus 50 plus Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, plus two. That gives us a total of ninety-seven dollars with zero, oops, with zero left over. What I am going to do is go back through my um, budget to make sure all of my calculations are correct. So I'm gonna do that off camera, and then I'm gonna come back on to close out the video. All right. So everything looks good. I have a zero base budget for the month of January if everything goes well. Of course, I'm hoping to make a little more on Instacart. Hopefully, I'll make a little from YouTube, eBay, Poshmark, and all the other ones. This other is basically leftover. I'm going to put, I'll just put leftover right here so that I know where that 113 came from. But that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. I am just updating my budget, basically. So far, I haven't gotten paid yet. I'm getting paid on the 7th and the 21st, I do believe. I don't know why I didn't put the dates in there. I do believe YouTube comes on the 21st as also. eBay really doesn't have a date. Poshmark, none, 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 none. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you know what? I want to thank Just Vlog and Life for donating to my son's GoFundMe. If you guys don't know, the reason why I'm budgeting like a crazy woman is because he was in the hospital back in August and he has a ton of medical bills. So I'm just in the process of paying all of those off. So I do want to thank her for uh, donating to his GoFundMe. So I'll put that in there. And I think I'll make this longer for my next one. Oh, you know, actually, my husband bought me the Budget Moms uh, thing for Christmas. So next month, I'm actually probably going to be in that. I'm not going to do it this month because I already have this already planned out. But anyways, once again, thank you so much, uh, Just Vlog and Life, for donating to his GoFundMe. So like I said before, haven't received paycheck one, nothing from YouTube. Instacart, I stopped doing Instacart. So every time i tell myself i need a break i just take a break so i don't become overwhelmed because i i, I i'm already like not stressed out but i just don't want to become overwhelmed and instacart was becoming too much so i'm taking a break from it this month even though i i budgeted 200 dollars. let's just hope that everything balances out but like i said i'm taking a break from it this month on to page two so rent due on the fifth I'm paying it tomorrow. Tomorrow's the third, but you know, whatever. Uh, $562 I've already paid. The first for ID Protect, I've already paid $4. My car wash, I've already paid $30. Let me zoom in. All right, so hopefully you guys can see a little better now. Car wash, I've already paid 30 
and credit monitoring I've already paid $12 on to my next page so i haven't paid any of my debt but visa instead of it being 26 276 it's actually 290 and of course that's what i'm going to pay i haven't paid it yet i'm just putting that there so i know that it was actually 290 i did set up auto pay so that's 290 las vegas pete i'm paying that off tomorrow whoop, whoop. so and then south positions i don't remember when it's due i have to look, actually look in my debt tracker binder but yeah, I haven't paid on any of these yet, except Las Vegas Peace will be paid off tomorrow. On to my next page. So I haven't deposited into any of my bank sinking funds because I have not gotten paid. I get paid this upcoming Friday. So we're gonna leave that like that. So I did do my cash stuffing video. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and leave that link up above. But I did deposit all of these. So I did deposit five into eating out, 10 into spending money, five into gas, five into Joe's hair, five into medical, 50 into groceries, five into beauty, five into clothing, 10 into Joe's spending, and five into my hair. I'm putting it on this side simply because if I do get, have a little extra cash, I want to deposit more into these, but we'll see what happens. On to my last page. I also did my sinking fund envelopes. I deposited all of these amounts. So taxes did get 10, travel got five, back to school got five, dental got five, laptop got 50, PO box got five, student loans got five, vitamins got five, car registration got five, and Sam's Club renewal got $2. So that is all for me updating my budget today, you guys. If you found yourself enjoying it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, but I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. In today's video, we are going to go ahead and look at my budget so far for the month. So my first paycheck was $13.92. Uh, of course, I haven't received my second paycheck. I haven't received any from, anything from YouTube. Instacart, this is from when I did it in December and I ended up getting paid this month. I told you guys that I don't plan on doing Instacart this month. I need a break from it. It was like, it was just becoming too much for me. So I'm going to take a break from it for this month and then I'm going to go back to doing it next month. Other, so I bought, or I budgeted for $113 that was left over from last month, but I received money from my son's GoFundMe, of course the 113 from rolling over from last month and then i received a 60 dollars gift card uh from my dealership something about uh, something i did a year ago i don't know what i was like I, i'll take it so that's 60 dollars on there so that is awesome that's gonna like cover me not doing instacart this month which is totally awesome so hopefully i'm even so, of course, I already paid my portion of the rent. I did already pay Josiah's cell phone. Um, I did protect. I paid. Car wash, I paid. Internet comes out. Today is the 8th. So, internet comes out tomorrow. So, I'll just go ahead and put it on there. Everything that's paid this week. So, the only thing I've paid on so far was Sound Physicians. I put Visa in here so I can remember that it went up. Like the minimal payment went up. I'm not didn't pay anything on student loans, and I paid a hundred dollars using my HSA on UMC. Next, uh, this is all that I put into the bank so far. So I put 150 in gifts, 20 in kids travel. I put 25 emergency fund. I put 75 house fund. I put 75 fund. I put 25 and auto. I put 25 as well. Next, I've already stuffed my cash envelopes for the month. If I have any extra cash, of course, I'm going to go ahead and stuff a little more in them. Or I just might let it just roll over for next month. So eating out got five, spending got 10, gas got five, Joe's hair got five, medical got five, groceries got 50, beauty got five, clothing got five, Joe's spending got 10, my hair got five. Taxes got 10, travel got 5, back to school got 5, dental got 5, laptop got 50, PO box got 5, student loans got 5, vitamins got 5. Vitamins I'm going to have to take out of one of my other savings account because I am just about out of vitamins. I only have like a week left 
and it costs like a hundred, hundred and twenty dollars for all of my vitamins, and I'm just gonna buy them all at once because I'm out of, I'm by basically out of all of them. Like one jar has two vitamins left in it and the other one has like 10. I was like, I'll just buy them all at once because I get them from Whole Foods and Whole Foods is not close to me. So I am just going to do them all at once. Anyways, car registration got five. Sam's Club got $2. $20 savings challenge. So far, I didn't budget for this, but it has $20. Yesterday was Friday, so I put $20 in there. And I didn't put anything in one month ahead because I did not budget for it. Even though I did not budget for a $20 savings challenge, I wanted to go ahead and put that in there anyway. Simply because it's a savings challenge, so I want to actually be doing it. So, yeah. That is all for this video with my budget update. If you guys enjoyed it go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye in today's video we are going to check in in january's budget i did show you guys a lot happened uh last week not much happened this week but i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys anyway of course so once again i already received my paycheck my first paycheck nothing from youtube nothing from ebay poshmark other instacart this is from last month when i did it reselling i went to once upon a child and made 19 dollars. let me zoom in for you guys all right so on i think i went friday i can't remember when i went up i don't know maybe it was saturday <laughs> i went to once upon a child and made 19 dollars. other is rollover from last month and then i got a 60 dollar gift card from my dealership my car is paid off it's been paid off but it was something i did last year that they gave me a gift card for this 48 dollars is from gofundme last month or i'm sorry not last month but this month uh just vlogging life donated to my son's gofundme if you guys don't know he was in a hospital in the icu back in august and i have a lot of medical debt that i need to pay off for him and that is about it so so far for my so far for my bills, I paid my portion of the rent. My daughter's gonna handle the electric, so I I'm hoping well I'm hoping she's gonna handle the electric bill. We'll see because usually I pay the even months and she paid the odd months. We'll see. Josiah's phone was paid on the ninth. ID Protect paid on the first. Epidemic Epidemic Sound was paid on the thirtieth. Car wash was paid on the first. Car insurance I haven't paid yet because it's not due for another couple of days. I think today is the 17th. Hey, tomorrow's the twins' birthday. They'll be 16 tomorrow. Uh, car insurance isn't due until the 21st. Internet, I've already paid. And credit monitoring, I've already paid. I'm not going to total anything yet just because the month isn't over. That'll probably be in next week's video. So, so far, I've paid off Las Vegas Pete's. Whoop, whoop. And sound physicians, I plan to pay off by March. Charlotte Radiology, I'm going to discuss this in my Debt Free Friday video, you guys. So, make sure you stay tuned. Like, this one, I could cry. Like, I could I could just cry, but stay tuned to, for that one this upcoming Friday. Capital One, I paid $78. I wouldn't were skipping Charlotte, Radi Charlotte Radiology. Access One, I, haven't, I pay every week, and it equals $262. So, I think I got like one more week. I think the last one comes out on the 21st. So this will be updated next month. As, I mean next week as well. Visa 290. This is just to remind me. This isn't due until like the 20th something. Don't remember. Student loan. Haven't paid anything. And UMC. I paid $100 using my HSA. <clears throat> Excuse me. So far for my bank sinking funds. I've put $150 into gifts. $20 into kids. $25 into travel. $75 into emergency. 75 into house, 25 into fun, and 25 into auto. On to my envelopes. So, so far I've put, I think I've went over this before. I'll just go over it again if you're new to my channel. So, so far in eating out, I put five. Spending, I put 10. Gas, I put five. Joe's hair, I put five. Medical, I put five. Groceries, I put 50. Beauty, I put five. Clothing, I put five. Joe's spending, I put five. And my hair, I put five not going to total these just yet either just in case i put more into them 
same for these i'm not going to total them just in case i put more into them so taxes got 10 travel got five back to school got five dental got five laptop got 50 and i'm going to stop stuffing this i'll talk about that in my cash stuffing video for this week so make sure you check that out a reason why i'm going to stop stuffing this one P.O. Box got five, student loans got five, vitamins got five, car registration got five, Sam's Club renewal got two dollars, twenty dollars savings so far has got in forty, and one month ahead has got in zero. That is all for my January's uh, check-in, budget check-in. If you guys found this video helpful or interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, more videos like this from me, hit that subscribe button. But I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye. In today's video, we are going to be closing out my budget for the month of January. So, basically all I had this month was my paycheck. I did have some other things. Let me zoom in for you guys. Alright, so paycheck one was $13.92. Paycheck two, $14.41. I didn't get anything from YouTube. Okay, so that doesn't work. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so I didn't get anything from YouTube. That's good because I didn't budget it for any, anything. Nothing from eBay. Nothing from Poshmark. Nothing from CS Other. Instacart, I got $30. That was because of rolling over from last month. Told you, told you guys that I wasn't going to be doing it this month. Not sure if I'm going to go back to doing it. Simply because um, I live near Charlotte. I don't live in Charlotte. I'm like at the border of South Carolina and North Carolina. But someone in Charlotte that does DoorDash, I know it is an Instacart, but still it's scary, was shot and robbed. Luckily, the person made it, but that's still scary. So not sure if I'm going to go back to doing Instacart or not. We'll see if I become desperate enough. But I doubt if I want to risk my life just for a couple of hundred dollars. But reselling, I sold to Once Upon a Child, $19. And then other, I got $48 from my GoFundMe for my son uh, when he was back in August, when he was back in uh, the ICU. Uh, thank you again, just vlogging life. And then leftover was $113 from December. $60 gift card I received from my dealership, something I had did, I think like last year. $25 from my shop kit gift, gift card. And I unstuffed my laptop envelope. That was $262 that I just put into this budget. And it's basically just going to be rollover for next, but you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and add all of that up. Okay, so let's go ahead and add all of that up. All right, so, oh, I didn't even realize that my calculator wasn't in focus. So that equals $3,390. Probably simply because of the unstuff in my envelope. Let me zoom out. I feel like I'm too zoomed in. All right, hopefully you guys can still see me. So for the month of, I don't know what they're doing outside. Let me stop recording. Oh, I think they stopped. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. But so actual income for the month of January was $3,390. Let's take that over here, $3,390. Uh, I'm actually, I didn't, I'm didn't. i not paying the electric bill. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't pay the electric bill. My daughter paid it. So I'm going to take that out. So let's add all of these up and see what they total. All right. So for the month of January, my bills came up to $852. So $3390 minus $852, $2,538 left. We're going to, oh, here they go again. Let me, give me a second. Dude, I don't know what they're doing. Like, they started and then they just stopped, like, doing it. So, we're going to take that and roll it over. $2,538. So, I did pay $262 for Access One. Sound Physicians, I'm going to discuss that in my debt-free Friday video. You guys will see. I... This isn't the balance I owe, it's actually lower, which is pretty awesome. Charlotte Radiology, you have to watch my last video. They 
child that's all i'm gonna say is child so let's add all of these up and then subtract them um i'll put this in the corner because i paid with my hsa so i typically don't include that if it didn't come out of my um bills account so let's add this to 99 so i actually pay out of my bills account 1053 dollars if i add the 100 it will be $1,153. That's HSA. Ooh. With my HSA. Okay. So we're going to subtract that from the $2,538. That gives us a leftover of $1,485. Let's take that $14.85 and see what we have. So gifts, I, I actually only put $150. Okay, so yeah, all I did for gifts was $150, $20, travel, vacate. I'm not switching this because it comes directly from my check to my uh, account, so I'm just not going to switch it. Emergency only got $75, or emergency fund only got $75. House only got $75. Fund actually got $50. And then auto actually got 50 also because these are separate accounts that just come directly out of my bank. I'm mean, sorry, my check and into my bank. So I, I just didn't feel like switching those. So let's add all of that up. That gives us oh, 470. That's so funny. Didn't go over on that. So let's subtract that 1485 minus 470. That gives us 1015 left over. Now we're going to go over to my envelopes. I didn't add anything extra except in groceries. I did. I'll take that back. And then it's $25. It was a gift card that I received from, I think I got that, the $25 gift card from Shopkick. So I used that for groceries. So I'm not going to add that because... I didn't really put that in there even though i guess even though i added it, it, it i will i will because i actually put it on my budget so i will actually add that in there so let's add all of these up all right so that totaled to 225 all right so let's take that 225 and subtract it from 1015 that gives us 709 oh i forgot thanksgiving i put five dollars in so it was actually 230. I was like, why is that below? I meant to add another line to my, that's okay, 230. So what, I don't lost myself. 1015 minus 230, 785. All right, so let's take that 785 and take it over to my sinking fund envelopes. And I did actually add $80 to my $20 savings challenge. So let's add all of those up. That gives us gives us $177. I'm way over for this one simply because I forgot that I was doing a $20 savings challenge this year, which is I save $20 every Friday. So let's take that $177 from $785. That gives us a leftover, good grief, that's a lot of leftover, a leftover of $608. So, yeah, that was a pretty good month. I'm happy I didn't even um, do Instacart. If I had done Instacart, I would have had like a whole lot leftover. But I am satisfied with this um, budget this month. I'm sorry, last month whatever closing it out <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button but i'll talk to you all in my next video bye